Hey my pretties, welcome back. So today we are going to cook dinner. I am going to cook three meals for you guys and as you can see, I will be using HelloFresh. Um, I know that I talked about HelloFresh in previous videos, but I cannot stress to you how amazing this meal kit box is. Now, in case you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is like a food subscription um, box that you can order and get pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door. And look at that. They sent three different meals that are amazing. Every meal that I have made from them is just amazing. So as you can see, I opened up the box and it comes packaged where everything is nice and fresh. Everything is separated in these bags. Um, and I'm just pulling it out so I can show you guys, you know, what they sent. As you saw, the menus came out the box at the top when I first opened it. So with HelloFresh, um, they offer so many recipes that you get to choose from each week that'll help you break out of like that recipe uh, rut that you might be in like myself because as I mentioned before I get tired of trying to think about what I want to cook for dinner and since I've been getting HelloFresh me and my daughter and my son um, well my kids in general we love it we love that they just send stuff that we have we've never tried before um, and excuse me because I'm talking even when I should be telling y'all what I'm cooking <laughs> um, but yeah, so as far as HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code PRETTYANDFLAWED14 to get 14 free meals and free shipping. Um, and it's, you know, you will not regret it. So while I'm running my mouth, let me tell you guys real quick what I'm making. So for the first dinner, I'm making a balsamic tomato and herb chicken. And you guys know I always... Uh, have my kids help me and in the other video I was talking about how this since we've been getting this box my daughter loves being in the kitchen um, she's a teenager she knows how to cook already but with these meals she loves to assist me and if I'm really really busy I can just tell her to go in there and make the dinner herself and she does it to she follows the, all the directions and it comes out perfect Okay, so with this balsamic tomato and herb chicken, I washed the chicken. I'm seasoning the chicken right here. Um, if I was doing too much talking, you guys can rewind, go back and watch. <laughs> um, right here, my daughter was cutting up the cilantro and the chives. Uh, everything comes already separated for you. All you have to do is prepare it and uh, you just can't go wrong. So I'm boiling the pasta to have with the the meal and they sent two bags of pasta so my daughter was over there cutting up the tomatoes the chives and the cilantro they also sent some garlic and I'm also gonna I'm going to use my own garlic as well so now I'm going to uh, brown the, the chicken I drizzled some oil in the pan and so I'm gonna cook these, and then after I'm done cooking these, I'm going to put them in the oven as well. So right here, they're pretty much done. And I'm putting them on a pan that will go into the oven. And look at those, their meat is so fresh and so, oh my gosh, I just love this box. Let me know down in the uh, comment section if you guys already got HelloFresh or are you looking into getting it? And if you haven't gotten it, what, what is the determining factor on if you get it? Um, okay, so I put the, the cheese on top of the chicken and I put those in the oven. Now my daughter is sauteing the fresh tomatoes with the seasonings that they sent. And then right here she's adding um, the balsamic vinegar and a teaspoon of sugar. Look at that. And when I tell you guys that smells so good, oh my goodness, and I love me some tomatoes. Okay, so I drained the pasta, I added some butter, I added the garlic that they sent, but then I also added my own fresh garlic because I we love us some garlic. And then I added some salt and pepper to the pasta. Uh, she's done with the tomatoes, she added the chives and the cilantro, and she's going to finish cooking that down. She's adding a little bit of salt and some pepper. And she's just gonna stir that up. 
and we're pretty much done. I'm getting ready to take the chicken out of the oven and I'm going to cut it down. And I'm telling you, you guys, these meals are like life-saving right now because I get so busy. I do not really feel like being in the kitchen for too long. And it, the menus or the recipes tell you how long it's gonna take to prep, how long it's gonna take to cook. This one was preparation time was five minutes and the cook time was 30 minutes. But when I have somebody in the um, kitchen helping me, it really shortens the time and that 30 minutes went by so fast. So look at that chicken. Mm. And my daughter's friend was actually over. She had came up to spend the weekend with her and she was watching and she was like, I'm going to go um, home and tell my mom to order this because she was, you know, fascinated with how easy it was and watching my daughter cook. Uh, she was like, I need to be trying this at home. So <laughs> definitely good for teenagers so she added the chicken on top of the pasta she's putting some of the um tomato sauce that she made oh my gosh if you guys could have smell a vision i'm telling you all of these meals that i'm getting ready to make they smell so good so she put that on top and then she's just adding some cheese and that is going to be it for dinner number one and it was a hit Okay, so now she's just putting her cheese on there, and there you have it. The balsamic tomato uh, and herb chicken. I try to always make my meals look like the picture. <laughs> I try, I try. So white cheddar and Wonder Burgers and Old Bay Fries is up next. Preparation time, 10 minutes. Cook time, 35 minutes. And as you can see, everything comes in the bag. And all you have to do is pull it out and get it ready. So my daughter was preparing the meat right here, which was ground beef. And she added the Old Bay seasonings. And we added some salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic salt. So while she was doing that, and yes, my daughter was stirring it with a spoon. She does not like touching meat. Uh, she just doesn't. <laughs> so she was just stirring it and getting the, the seasonings in there while I was cutting up the potatoes right here, which I just cut them up. They're going to be like steak fries put them in the bowl and then I drizzled some oil on them and I'm going to add the um, Old Bay seasoning on them and let me tell you this was my first time ever putting Old Bay on my potatoes um, some salt and pepper and I'm telling you my we I will be doing this again I definitely would because I never thought to add Old Bay onto my french fries or my potatoes so there was the remainder of the seasoning and then I'm putting them on a pan. I'm gonna pop these in the oven. Uh, they give you the oven temperature and the, how long to cook. And so I just put them in the oven. Now this was the special sauce. Um, it was mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, and some Old Bay seasoning. Okay, right there I was letting you guys know the menu calls, the, well the recipe called for caramelized onions and they did send two onions right there. But however you guys, we, we don't eat a lot of onions in our house. Um, so I had to opt out of using the caramelized onions even though they looked really, really good. So I finished making the burgers and I put the cheese on top. And there you have all four burgers and everything is proportioned perfectly there's the fries we toasted the buns and then my daughter's just going to add some of the sauce on there the only thing missing was the caramelized onions you can make them if you like um, but like i said we just we aren't a big fan of onions um, so we didn't make them but let me tell you them fries oh my goodness look my picture did not my plate did not look like that picture did it <laughs> whatever let's keep going pork and pepper enchiladas um 10 minute prep time 40 uh 40 minute cook time and these are the items that they sent the enchilada sauce two packs of tortilla shells um and then they also added a recipe for shredded chicken tacos which i would like to say that i make some really good shredded tacos so i'm gonna try that recipe though so it called for some green onions that you just saw, two packs of cheese. They sent a Southwest Spice, um, that was really good. There was two packs, there's a lime, a bell pepper, 
two tomatoes, and then there was four little packets of sour cream that you're gonna use for your cream of sauce. And then here is the pack of ground pork that uh, you'll use for your enchiladas. So this dinner, I incorporated my son, and so he's cutting up everything for me to make the pico, which you guys, the pico de gallo in this recipe was so good. Oh my goodness, I could eat it by itself with a spoon. So he cut up the bell pepper, he cut up the tomatoes, there's the limes, the green onions. And while he was doing that, I was uh, browning the pork. And all the meat is always so fresh. Um, I added the Southwest Spice to it. And that's what I'm doing right here. And then there's the, um, oh yeah, my son came over and added two teaspoons of the um, red enchilada sauce to the meat because that's what it called for. And after I cooked the meat down a little bit, I added the bell peppers. I wanted to wait till it was kind of brown before I added those. And oh my gosh, it smelled so good. I love me some peppers. So this smelled so amazing. So here he is making the pico. That was the tomato. He's squeezing lime in the bowl. And then he added, the recipe didn't cause, uh, call for it, but he added some parsley into it. And I'm still over here cooking the meat. Okay, and then he added the chives, AKA green onions, into, <laughs> into the um, uh, pico. And the juice at the bottom is the lime, lime juice. That looks so good and fresh. It's so good, you guys. I couldn't stop looking at it. That's why I was filming it for so long. <laughs> okay, so now um, all you have to do is roll up you some uh, some enchiladas, like roll the shell. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know how to roll and tuck, so I'm just showing you right here. Put the meat in, roll it and tuck it, and the part that is at the end, keep it at the bottom. That way they don't come undone, like that. And I just did that until I filled up the whole dish. Okay, and there they are, all done. And then all you have to do is pour some red sauce over it. And everything is cooked, pretty much, like the meat and the vegetables and stuff. So you're gonna pour this over it, add your cheese on top, and it goes into the oven. Um, how long did it say? For about seven, seven minutes. And so, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Pour, uh, put that in the oven. And of course, while we're waiting for those to finish in them seven minutes, clean the kitchen. Because when I'm done cooking, I'm ready to go sit down. <laughs> and that's what they look like. And yes, I am guilty. I had to put some jalapenos on, the, on my end because I love me some jalapenos. I forgot to show you guys my daughter making the cream sauce. Um... And all that was, was the sour cream. What did she use? Sour cream, some lime juice, and some salt and pepper in the cream juice. I mean, in the cream juice, in the cream sauce. Okay, right here, let me tell you guys, I was struggling. I was trying to make my my pan look like the pitcher. I was like, okay, we're gonna make this, we're gonna make this look just like this. That's why I kept going back reference, referencing that. And so I put the pico in the middle, and then I'm gonna try to drizzle the sour cream across it like the pitcher i probably should have had like a piping bag or something but i, I didn't so i was trying i was trying <laughs> my kids was laughing at me um but that's what i'm doing right here and um let me tell you guys this was so good this i cannot stress to you how good this was so again, like I said, if you guys are interested in HelloFresh, which I urge you to give it a try, if you're tired of cooking dinner or you just don't know what to cook no more, I mean, after years and years of cooking, you just get burnt out like me, um, go ahead and like I said, go to HelloFresh.com. Make sure you look at those. Mm, the juice on the plate was the juice from the Pico. So good. 
but make sure you use pretty and plot 14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping you will not regret it um and yeah this that was it i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll talk to you real soon bye